Well, there's afterlife up ahead. Come on, let me in. We're gonna listen to these guys. Who's expecting me? Ugh. Annoyed. If she were expecting you, you'd be inside. Ari's expecting me. Ugh. Annoyed. If she were expecting you, you'd be inside. You've let ten people in while I've been standing here. Uncaring. They were behind the leaves. Can you even see me over here? Don't you know who I am? Matter of fact, no. Get in line. It's not a really big line, actually. Look, I'll pay you. I'm prepared to offer you 50 credits. With apparent interest, double it. Okay, 100 credits. Amused, double it. Uh, 200 credits? Assertively, no. Get back in line. I've had enough of this. Let me inside or I'll smash that smelly ass you call a face. With barely constrained menace, try it. Whatever. I don't want to go in there anyway. We get to go in. Go on in. Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. Not sure what their problem is, but... <sighs> okay, yeah. The couch was on our left, so... Nice music in here. I like it. Ar Arya, who we're about to meet, by the way, um, is voiced by Carrie Ann Moss, who is um, best known for being in the Matrix films. I'm actually not sure what else she's done. I mean, I'm sure she's kept herself busy other than that and being in, the, in this game. Um, but, oh, some people I uh, didn't mention before, voice actors. Um, Keith David is the voice of Admiral Anderson, well, and Counselor Anderson, depending on um, which career he's uh, in the middle of, of course. And uh, he's had a number of uh, roles. Um, I, the, the first thing I ever saw him uh, do was uh, um, voice uh, Goliath on the TV series Gargoyles back in the 90s. Um, Joker, of course, as you probably, as is well known, is voiced by Seth Green, who uh, ha does the voice of Chris on Family Guy and who is also in the Austin Powers movies and who's been in a whole hell of a lot of other stuff which um, I can't, I couldn't name it all off the top of my head. Um, but, and if I have forgotten about anybody else, I will talk about them later. But for now, Aria is up here. That's her. She wants to talk to us. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I 
I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. Well, fine. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Okay. So, do we're, as I said, going to look for Morden first, but, well, we can ask about to save ourselves um, a future trip back here to, uh, we'll ask about Archangel as well as long as we're here. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Has he fucked with Arya? I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Okay. He is following the one rule. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morton. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. That's an odd thing to say, and we'll find out why shortly.
there is another um, section of the club. We won't go there just yet. I would like to um, get the um, acquisition of Morden Solus done as soon as possible. So we're going to do that. The uh, news um, audio broadcast can be interesting to listen to if you have the time, but act I've spent enough time standing around listening to news already on the Citadel. It's not the same stories, of course, but um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste more of your time. Um, I wanna. <laughs> it would be a little bit funny if there was actually a label that said soap or something on that box. But uh, anyway, let's listen to them some more. Bring unto me the children. I may watch them grow. Soldiers for the cause. The way is clear, my friends. Draw your weapons for the word. The end times will come, not with a bang, but with a sound. Those who dip their extremities in the well of sin and vice must repent with fire, oil, and gun. Let not flesh and friendships and base urges compel us to sin and neglect. The word makes its demands, and it demands obedience. And on this great station, shall be rejected and the lesser races given their places in heaven. And this shall be the beginning of the end. The end times are upon us. Repent and restore your soul to glory. I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. He doesn't really know his audience, does he? There is not one non-human among them. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. It really isn't a good idea for her to go in there. I can tell you that much. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. And that's why I said that Arya saying don't bring the plague back with you is odd, because it is true. The plague doesn't affect humans. It affects everybody else, though. Well... Almost everybody else. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Talok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? 
Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? A yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. I would have thought that Arya would have told him I was allowed in. But I gotta persuade him. Um, I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. And there's the other race that disease has an effect. We'll be seeing the Vorcha soon. Um, and it was a bit silly, of course, that he asked who the Blue Suns were when I had already um, encountered them. But as we said, uh, we're doing... Uh, that th the game didn't expect me to do things in this particular order. Um, also, the uh, blue suns that you encounter not only on the place on the planet that we got grunt from, but elsewhere, are not mostly Turian. There's plenty of human members of the blue suns, but I guess not this particular um, portion of the gang that was in the quarantine zone. Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough, then you start coughing blood, and, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species, Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune, and Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races, can't let that spread, hence the quarantine. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? I'm not looking for a fight, but I'm on a mission. I need to find Morden Solus. Hey, I'm not stopping you. Just know that the quarantine gate guards will open fire as soon as you arrive. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A plague zone? Great. Hey, you... Well, you're supposed to be perfect. This mission is important. I need you to come along, even if it's dangerous. I don't get sick. I'm not gonna let Grunt die, don't worry.